Thomas Mendenhall's presidency at Smith College from 1959 to 1975 had a significant impact on the national recognition of the importance of women's athletics by providing opportunities for women to participate in sports. Upon his arrival at Smith, Mendenhall was confronted by the upheaval of the civil rights era. He weathered that very well. He uh, started the Black Studies program at Smith. At Smith, the early feminist movement and the sexual revolution was particularly prevalent. He was known for appointing ad hoc committees to study various issues so that if there was an important issue, a group was studying it. The backlash that he felt during his tenure did not stop him from changing the mandate that prohibited intercollegiate sport in the gymnasium and on the fields. He went on to initiate improvements of the athletic facilities, such as the construction of Ainsworth Gymnasium and new physical education and recreation facilities. In this way, he served as a leader for other college presidents who began putting more value into women's sports and athletics with improvements of the athletic facilities at their respective institutions. Mendenhall had a special interest in crew and served as an informal coach for the Smith rowing team. He was very relaxed. He was uh, seen on campus. I'd like to tell you what to me is one of the funny stories about Mr. Mendenhall, and I think it probably tells you a lot about his attitude and what the students thought. Rita Benson was meeting a student at the boathouse, and when she got there, the student was already in the boathouse. She asked the student, how did you get in? And she said, well, one of the Kingsmen let me in. There he is, and he was putting his single shell in the water, and uh, yes, it was Mr. Mendenhall. He was um, going out for his morning row. I can still see him in his old blue sweatshirt and a gray pair of shorts and his rubber boots. Mendenhall retired in 1975 and passed two decades later in 1998, but his contributions to Smith's athletics programs are still felt today.